What's up fellow Tubians, how goes it? So you probably are looking for a quick video on how to take a picture or a snapshot of your screen or a portion of it or a part of it. Well, whatever the case is, the good news is you can do so very quickly. And in fact, you don't need to install any additional software as long as you have either Windows 10 or Microsoft's newest Windows 11. As always, if you enjoy this tutorial, hit the like button, sub to my channel, it genuinely helps me grow and provide more quality content for you guys. Let's get started. While you are seeing a Windows 10 recording right now, it is worth noting the process to actually take a snapshot is identical on both Windows 10 or 11, so this process will work on both operating systems. Now with that said, you're gonna go find the search bar located on your taskbar, and you're simply going to type snipping tool. This is an application, click on the application itself, give it a quick second to load. You'll notice a pop-up appears somewhere on your screen and you have a couple of options here. The one you're going to go on for now is the mode option. This allows you to choose the kind of snapshot you want to take. So there's a free form, there's rectangular, there's also window, and finally there's full screen. Freeform allows you to kind of draw a circle or area of the picture or snapshot you wish to capture. In contrast to this, rectangular kind of defines the lines as linear, so you can stretch your rectangle as much as you want until you capture the desired area you want. It looks neater. And past that, you have window, which allows you to basically capture any one window open on your desktop, and you get a quick snapshot of that. And finally, there's full screen, which is very similar to alt print screen, and basically takes a snapshot of the entire screen that you're seeing at the moment. Now keep in mind to initiate this process, once you select your mode, simply click on the new button and your screen will go gray and this allows you to highlight the selected area you wish to capture depending on the mode you choose. Now once you've captured the picture, you'll kind of get a preview of it on the snipping tool and from here on you have a couple of options. You can use the pen looking icon to actually draw on the picture. This allows for some quick customization or pointing out. Also, you can highlight any part of the image itself using the highlighter function. Keep in mind, this is not a editing tool, so you have very primitive or basic functions here. Past that, you have the copy button, which will essentially copy this to your clipboard so you can paste it elsewhere. And past that, you have the floppy disk-like icon, which initiates the save as function and allows you to save this as a picture file anywhere on your computer. Now, it is worth noting, of course, that the snipping tool itself is designed to be very basic in nature and like I said, very primitive. So it's not gonna have advanced functions like intensive editing or allowing you to do other types of modes of screen capture. It's designed to just be a on-the-go tool. But nonetheless, I find that this is a very desirable, very useful and very quick and intuitive tool to use. As always, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, Hit that like button, sub to my channel. Thank you for watching, catch you in the next one.